Now I'm going to start putting some of the smaller containers in. You notice that we're actually relying on the design that we did and the wireframe layout. We know that there's going to be containers in which we put photos and text and in the future perhaps some interactive elements like video. So I've changed the, uh, the width of this wrapper down to the correct one and I've saved that so now I can go back to the source code view and I'm going to select the text from inside this wrapper div and get rid of it because I don't need it and instead with that blinker tapping there I'm going to scroll down on the insert panel to header and I'm going to click on header and it prompts me do I want to put it at insertion point and I'm going to say yes might actually create a new ID for it I'll just call it head and I'll worry about the size later I wanted to go into the style sheet I could actually give it some defining characteristics for example back at my Photoshop file I can tell that by dragging this to this point I can see that the header was actually about it was 50 100 150 pixels high so I'm just going to give it a height of 150 pixels and that's it and I'm going to click OK so my header has gone in at 150 pixels I can see that it's within the wrapper code and I'm going to click outside the header thing and this time I'm going to press the enter key this time I'm going to insert the navigation div click on that call that new name nav um, I want it to go in that thing you can see that by default now it's offering to go into the right place not worried about anything else but it is a box and the size of the box from memory it was about 50 so I'm going to go back and make that 50 50 pixels high leave all the rest okay and it should be going underneath the header then I click next to the closing tag for the nav and I'm going to insert um, the main part at the insertion point I might call that main body it's going to be a new rule I wanted to go in there so that's all okay and the main body from memory the main body was 200 it was about 500 and 500 high I'm not really bothered about how high that is but I'll make it 500 just for the time being again box height 500 that's all okay and then after the closing of the main body well actually I'm going to do the footer next and I'll insert the footer which is down here it's a new rule it's going into the right place and the 
put her, I think, from memory, that was about 50 also. Okay. And if we save everything, save all, let's have a look at how it appears in the browser. So I'll just press refresh and we can see it's got header, nav, main body, footer. In fact, the header looks a bit high, doesn't it? So I might have made a mistake with the style there. I might just reduce that. I'll have a closer look at the Photoshop file. Get that out of the way. Um, let's see, 0, 50, 100, looks like 150. Let's see if I can zoom in and actually it looks like it's about 150. It does look like about 150. So I'm going to leave that for the moment come back and next I'm going to do something with that main body area